I'm in Manchester today. Uh, just a random trip that I wanted to do. I booked this ticket about two or three weeks ago. Um, it is the final day of Mrs. Doubtfire being in Manchester doing its UK premiere. Uh, I'm going to the matinee, the last matinee today, and then obviously they've got their final show in the evening tonight. Uh, I know that it's quite based off the film. Um, new different things and everything. He's got some quite catchy songs, so I'm looking forward to that. The dancing looks awesome. I've heard some really good things about it and I'm looking forward to actually seeing the show itself. Also, if you think I'm talking quite weird, um, I think I've got myself a little bit of a cold. Um, my voice is going a little bit strange, but I, in myself, I'm okay, which is the main thing. Uh, but yeah, let's go and enjoy ourselves in, in Manchester watching the show. Not gonna lie, pretty lost. <laughs> um, I've never been to Manchester by myself, so this is going to be a challenge that don't even know what. No, I'm, I'm lost. <laughs> oh, I like that. Anyway, I'm gonna go and find somewhere to go to the toilet and also um, get some food somewhere. Uh, I am considering going to Peaky Blinders. Uh, it's literally a minute away from the uh, theatre. So I was just coming down to find Peaky Blinders and then see this. <laughs> so basically I just got to see where the theatre is and also where Peaky Blinders is. Uh, literally just not far up from the road, on, not far from the venue. loving the setup in here. Um, I've actually only seen a couple of video, um, episodes of Piggy Blinders. Um, the atmosphere, it looks so cool, it really does. Um, I've got myself a nice little just table here. And then this thing here, well this, this thing, the menu, it's got like a newspaper here. They turn it over and then it's the um, the menu it's pretty cool and you got all the starters there any drinks that you want got the main sides burgers and then steaks I might actually not have a steak this time for anyone, for anyone who knows me uh, you know I love my steak and uh, yeah I just feel like no not today also it says here that um, table service is offered all the time like so you just sit down and they'll come over serve you and the jobs are good <laughs> Hello, hello focus. Also, something I've just found really funny. Candle, they're not lit. No candle lit dinner for me. Right, so my drink's just arrived. Rosé. just arrived and it looks banging win. So, buffalo chicken burger, chips and a rosé. So, can't wait. That was good. That was a good meal. <laughs> If anyone does ever wonder where it is, it is literally just right there. Peaky Blinders, right there. Literally opposite. Impossible. Which is where this hilarious sign is. I think that's class, that. That's brilliant. <laughs> right. Time off to go this way now. Literally just turn up to the theatre. Right there. Can't wait. Can't wait. It's gonna be so fun. It really is. They've just opened the doors now. I might head on in now just to get myself settled and everything to so you stop using data and everything on the phone. Uh, got a word search on me anyway, so I could just do that. Uh, there'll be the program there, so we can have a look at that as well. Uh, the show starts at 2.30. Uh, 
Um, I pray that the whole cast is going to be here. Um, that'll be nice. <laughs> um, I'm sure they will be. But yeah, it's it's going to be incredible. I can already feel it's going to be amazing. I'm in the um, I think the circle. I'm right at the back, uh, but I've looked at my seat and actually there's a lot of leg room in the front of where I'm sitting, so I'm happy about that. Uh, even though it's at the back, there's a bit of an overhang, but I've looked and I'm not going to miss a single thing. I can't wait. Hopefully I can film the, film the finale at the end. Everyone else has been doing that, so hopefully I can try and get something for that from you. Quite well for you. Um, but yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. I, uh, oh, can I just wait a minute? This show, Shrek the Musical, yeah? Come and see it, but come to see the one that Blackpool and Fal uh, Blackpool Operatic players are doing because um, it's going to be better. <laughs> and also, I'm in it playing Donkey, so book your tickets, not for the tour, for the Blackpool Operatics. Okay, we're in. And this is my view. Are you going to see it? Yeah, I'll try and Look at that. Yeah, I'll see you. That's a view that I like that. And also when I say about the leg room, that's how big. See I can literally stretch my leg out there. And that's pretty decent. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Thirty quid as well. Thirty quid. Anyway, gonna enjoy the show and uh, see you later. But one good thing about this is that it's not a weekday, so there's gonna be no school trips or anything. So it's not gonna be loud either. So fingers crossed, no disturbances or anything. I just hope I make it back for my coach. My coach leaves at 20 to 6. I mean, it's only 16 minutes around from the building here. However, I just really pray I make it because otherwise I'm stranded in Manchester, which is fun. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to enjoy the show.
down to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul 